Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flare Mouse Test Tube Torture Test. Yes, I get a lot of requests for me to do some more of these things. This time we're going to be using isopropyl alcohol. And this is 70% isopropyl alcohol. It's very flammable, and especially flammable when you aerate it. Now if you've never seen a test tube torture test before, this is where we put different materials inside of a test tube. We seal it with a silicone plug because the cap can't seal it very well by itself. And then we superheat it, which means we're heating it way, way beyond its boiling point. Now the boiling point of isopropyl alcohol is about 180 degrees Fahrenheit, but that's at atmospheric pressure. As we add more and more heat, and we're pumping a lot of heat into this thing, the boiling point will rise as the pressure inside the vessel rises. You know, you may be asking yourself, why aren't we using a Bunsen burner? That's because you would have to put the Bunsen burner directly underneath the vial. Um, when the test tube explodes, which it usually does, <laughs> um, it would probably destroy the Bunsen burner in every single experiment. Also, the heat waves that you see there, we want to control that. And if we had a Bunsen burner, all the heat waves would be going straight up, and we wouldn't be able to see what's going on very well. So by using the propane torch, we're able to direct the heat where we need it, at the very bottom, which is also the thickest part of the vial. Now I get a lot of comments on these videos asking me why I don't try to invert the vial. That's because it's kind of physically impossible to do that. The thickest part, like I said before, of the vial is the very base of it. The rest of the vial is rather thin. It's about the thickness of a light bulb. And I would have to heat the very bottom, which would be the silicone plug, and that would just kind of screw up our seal. We'd overheat it, burn out the seal. It just wouldn't work. And I have tried it before, and it was a colossal failure. The red high temperature silicone seal, which fills the entire neck of the vial, does two things. It, of course, seals the test tube, but it also is our control point. It will blow out when the vessel reaches probably four or 500 PSI. So rather than have an uncontrolled, you know, something that might be considered an explosive, we have a controlled experiment. Other people will ask, why don't I put like a laser thermometer or non-contact thermometer, you know, which is actually infrared, and record what the temperature is? Well, you got that intense flame blowing across this thing, which would just skew your temperature readings. You'd be reading the, the flame rather than what's the te what temperature is inside. And if you put some kind of a probe inside the vessel, you just end up destroying the probe every time because of the violent explosion. So this has been under the heat for several minutes, and it's still doing a rolling boil. The pressure inside is getting very intense. You can see the cap has actually moved a little bit. And there it goes. As you can see, our pressure relief valve, our silicone plug, was the blowout point, causing the test tube to shoot downwards into that plastic table and just shatter and explode. Even as it hit the table, it still was under a lot of pressure after even relieving that much pressure. There's not much left of the vial. It just shattered into tiny pieces. What I need to know from you guys is, do you want to see more test tube torture tests or not? You can either leave a comment saying, yeah, I want to see more. Or, you know, just rate the video, give it a thumbs up if you want to see more. Thumbs down if you don't want to see any more. That's important to know, you know. I need your feedback. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.